full house today. Um, obviously, a, a tremendous, tremendous win for us under um, a lot of adversity. I thought uh, Javante was phenomenal. I told somebody before the game, they said, what's it going to look like? I said, well, it's probably not going to be as aesthetically pleasing, but he's going to get the job done. And that, that, that's what he does. It, it won't it won't look as, as crisp, but he's going he's gonna to get the job done. And, and, and he's done that for us uh, all season long. So very, very proud of him and Skyler Cavell with the double-double. And so I was um, just very, very proud of our team uh, overall. We, we um, overcame a lot of adversity. Um, you know, we, we had to pretty much chip, flip our game plan in a night uh, on, on, on things. And so we were able to, uh, to do that. And our guys were really locked in and really focused. We, we did an extra walkthrough this morning. We were basically walking through up until we went on the court to, to warm up so we could, um, you know, we could get some things going. And <laughs> the initial plan was to really feed Nas the ball down low, and then he gets the two fouls, and that really, that really hurt us there. So we had to kind of go to plan, plan C, I guess it would be, from there. But I thought the second half, we turned the game by getting the ball in the paint and being able to beat them, uh, beat them in the paint. We were down four in the paint at halftime. I think we won by – by eight, so we were able to flip that. To, yeah, we were able to flip that by 12 points, and then being able to convert those points off turnovers, we won that by eight, and did a good job going to the uh, going to the free throw line as well. So, just a great team win and a great atmosphere. That, I mean, that's as good as it gets for college basketball. Our fans to be here at 11 a.m. like that, the students. Um, it was awesome. So hopefully, hopefully everybody will come back on uh, on Tuesday night. Uh, Coach, you always say that shooting more free throws or making more free throws than the other team shoots is a big key for you all. I mean, just how important was that, you know, even without Tremont out there It was there huge. Tonight? It was huge. You know, we just wanted to drive that ball in there. Javante drove it in there. You know, we all just drove it in there, drove it in there, shot faked and drove it in there. And so, you know, I think we took 16 threes in the first half. I think that's right. We were four of 16. And we, 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 uh, we only took nine threes in the second half. We were much, much, much better. Uh, much better with what we were doing in the second half. So um, just, you know, when you don't have Tremont, there's, there's a little bit narrower path to win. And uh, our guys executed well, and we were able to navigate that path. It seemed like a flip kind of switch with uh, Javante in the second half. I mean, what were you seeing on his ability to kind of oh, just take over? That's how he is. I mean, he's so tough. He's, I just love him. Uh, he's everything we're about as a program. He's everything we're about. I mean, he's from Louisiana. He loves – he loves uh, he loves LSU. He just he loves it, and so um, there was no doubt he was making those two free throws. I was actually until he was going to miss the second one, but once Tennessee, once I knew they were going to call timeout, I said we might as well just make it. So we at least. But if he's going to miss the second one, so that they didn't have enough time, and you know, um, but he was he's just there's no doubt those things were going in. I I, um, I love his hustle, his grit, and um, you know he he gets the job done. And that's the best. I mean, we only turned the ball over seven times today. That's huge. Be able to value the ball and just make simple plays and only turn over five or uh, seven times was just tremendous. You, you talked the other day about Javante representing Louisiana. Today you had Javante and Skylar Mays, Mays kind of carry this game for you. Yeah. Two guys from from right here in Baton Rouge. I mean, what's that mean for this awesome. team and this program? I mean, it was awesome. I mean, they they basically played the entire game. I don't think I subbed Sky out the whole game. Um, and Javante just got a minute, but just everybody contributed. I mean, how about Marshall? Um, yeah. Marshall comes in and hits a three. That's what he does. We told him, you know, I felt yesterday he practiced. You know, he's usually on the scout team. He torches us on the scout team. He's usually the other team's best shooter and just torches us. And we put him on the purple team yesterday. <laughs> he kept missing everything. I said, Dago Marshall, just shoot it like you normally, you know, just calm down and, and be yourself and do what you do. And, um, you know, not only the shot, he had some great defensive possessions. He contested shots. He had a tremendous block out. So just a total team effort, but obviously led by, by Javante and Skyler. Will, Javante said he didn't miss a free throw at practice yesterday. Is that normal for him? Yeah, he's a really good free throw shooter. Um, him and Skyler are two best free throw shooters. And, and um, you know, I thought um, getting to the line and, and those guys converting was uh, was critical. You got uh, – Kavari got six offensive rebounds and was able to – get a few of them put back, just big time work on the boards. Can you just comment on that? Yeah, Cavell was awesome. I mean, another double-double. I think that's his sixth in SEC play in 14 games. That's six double-doubles for him. I mean, he was, he was, uh, he was tremendous. He was tremendous. He was so active and, and um, did a great job. Will, if you're not going to have Tremont, is it is a nice compliment to have the smart experience of Sky and the fearlessness of Javante? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, you know, we felt comfortable. We felt confident. We felt comfortable. 
you know, in some ways it helps us defensively a little bit. We could play a little bit bigger and we could switch some things. It, it helped us in this game uh, particularly. And so um, I thought, um, you know, I have, I have total faith in those guys. I have total faith in Javante, total faith in Skyler. And, you know, they delivered today on a big stage, which is, which is what you want to do. Javante, I told you guys, I think, the other day in the press conference, you know, anytime there's a big game, he's been, he's been, he's been spades for us. He's been awesome. And so today was no different. Yeah, well, can you give us an uh, update on Tremont? When did he start getting sick and uh, what's going on with him? He hadn't been feeling well. He got an IV yesterday to try to make a go of it, and he just didn't. He just, I mean, you know, in a game like this, you got to be, he, he just, he, he couldn't do it. And we weren't, you know, I love to win basketball games, but our kids' health and, and that sort of thing is much more important than winning basketball games. And so our doctors said that, that um, you know, he just, they didn't think he could make a go of it. He's day to day. I, I would assume we'll probably have him back for for for, for Tuesday, um, but uh, you know, he just he couldn't make a go of it. And he tried. You know, he wanted he wanted to play, and he just just couldn't make a go of it. Will you mentioned limiting your turnovers? Tennessee had 14, one of their higher totals. They're supposed to be the veteran team. You're the young team. Why do you think that happened? And, and what does it say about your guys? I don't know. I was really, you know, they're 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 top five in the country on, on they, they average like 18 assists a game too. You know, they they, they share the ball really well. Um, you know, I think we were able to make them into some one-on-one -on -one players, which is what we wanted. They obviously made some great plays. Grant Williams made some great plays. Schofield was was just torching us. Um, but um, you know, we we set back in the lane. We didn't guard a couple guys. I thought. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be our day when Alexander hit a three. Is it, was that his first three of the year? I think it was maybe. Kyle Alexander for them, I think it was maybe his first three of the year. So, um, But, you know, I thought we, we, we heated up, heat him up. We had good, good ball pressure and, and just did a, uh, did, did a nice job. Will, you talked yesterday about their offensive efficiency and you hold them to 44%, 40 in the second half. What was the key to that, especially in the second hand half. activity was good. I thought, I thought our guys did a good job of getting the scouting report into the game plan. I thought for the most part we contested a lot of shots. I mean, those mid-range jump shots they hit are some tough. I mean, those are some, those are some tough shots. Um, I was really disappointed in the first half. We didn't rebound. They had eight second chance points, which was the difference in the game when we were down five. Will, what motivated you to take the mic after the game? Well, I just felt like um, it was a big win for our team, big win for our program, and you know, a lot of those people, <laughs> you know, they may not have been here all year. They hadn't been here, all, you know, they hadn't, maybe they've only been to the PMAC a couple times in the last few years. So we wanted to make sure we knew that, uh, that our team appreciated them and, and would, you know, we want to continue to build the program and, and, and have them back. So, I mean, we play for our fans, the state, the school. And so it's, 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 uh, it's important that we recognize those folks. Um, back to Tremont, sorry. On, uh, was he sick on Wednesday too, or was this something that came yeah, after that? He he um, he taught he didn't he probably was sick on Wednesday, uh, but he it was something that we didn't know till after the game, or he didn't necessarily disclose till after the game. But he was probably wasn't feeling. Uh, I would I would say he wasn't a hundred percent on Wednesday. I'd say that's fair. Hey, well, you talked about being national, getting nationally relevant again what what's this win well, we got it doesn't do much for you if we're not consistent you know we got we got four games left in sec play we got tech saying you know our problem hadn't been getting up for the big games i mean we've we've gotten up for the big games the problem's been taking care of business against people at home where we, i mean that, that's been the issue so i mean we're you know when the lights are shining and the popcorn's popping we've been pretty good when it's packed um, and so we've got, you know, we've got a new challenge ahead of us Tuesday night. We play a very good A and M team, a team that we beat the first time, but we did a great job on their best player. That that you can't necessarily count on that. And and Tremont had a career night. And what do you go for, 36 or something like that there? Um, and so, you know, it's a new challenge, and, and we got to turn the page tomorrow and certainly begin to get ready for them. But we've got to have a much higher level of consistency. That's one thing I respect about Tennessee. You know, I mean, they've lost on the road at, at Kentucky and LSU, very two, two, two very tough games and two very good teams. But they've just, they've just plowed through everybody else. And, you know, that's the next step for us is, yeah, we can get up for these big games, but can you plow through other teams and can you, can you handle business when you need to handle it? And that's where, that's, where we've got to, that's where we've got to get drastically better, especially if we want to close it out and, and, and try to win the league. Two questions. First, you mentioned the team effort. What days gave you in being able to play him oh. at the three? Great. Days was days was awesome. You guys all know I love him. I, I didn't play him enough in the Florida game. I, I screwed that up. I should have played him more in the Florida game. I think 
he, he gave us a great chance. And then, you know, it's just his size and, and um, the way he goes, the way he goes about things is, is, is phenomenal. And so um, I, um, I, love, um, I love what he brings to us on the court. And he's got a great spirit about him. He just get, I mean, we were big out there. You got Days at the three and Nas and Cavell out there and Javante and Scott. I mean, he's got a big lineup. And there's, there's a lot of things you can do with that defensively. It gives us a little bit more uh, flexibility and versatility. When you first got here, Skyler was a primary point guard. He's been much more off the ball since. There were stretches today. There was, you know, when you took Javante out, he was the guy, and, and Marshall was at the two. Just the ability for him to ease back into that role and, and make plays. Yeah, and then you know we ran some kind of point guard plays for him from the two, you know, to get him into some ball screens. Um, he did a great job um, all day attacking. That was a great attack at the end to draw the foul. Um, so he, he, he's, uh, you know, somebody he, he worked. I mean, look. It's no secret. Javante and Skyler work so hard. They stay after practice every day and work work together, work on their ball handling, work on their shooting. And you get rewarded in big moments when you can take advantage of those opportunities. Um, well, there are obviously some games when teams learn more about themselves than others. And to not only play without Waters, but to have Reed in early foul trouble. He didn't score a single point to the last minute of overtime. I mean, if someone tells you before the game that that's going to be the scenario against Tennessee, I mean, how do you rate your odds? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, we got a good, we got a lot of guys that can step up and play, and so we believe in our guys. And and um, I told them that last night. You know, I I, I told them, uh, you know, everybody's going to tell you, oh, you got to step up, you got to step up. No, you just got to do your job to the best of your ability. We don't need anything crazy. We got good players. We got good guys. They work hard. Just do what you do, the best you've done it all year. That's plenty good enough. And so, you know, I thought uh, we've got a total team, and and we got different guys who can step up at different times, and. And uh, we had that today. Coach, was it just two really good teams, intensity, the crowd, everything, the, the officiating? It seemed like there were a lot of reviews. I'm not, a talking, lot of I'm not talking about that. Different. Golly, Jacques. You trying to get me fined? We had a good win. Well, you did. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. You, have, you can ask the conference or whoever you want to ask about that. What's it like to celebrate with your athletic director, Joe Oliva, and the others on the court when you win? It was up? fun. I mean, that's what, that's what you do it for. And... Um, you know, Joe and Verge and Matt Laborde and, and all those guys have been have been so supportive since we got here. And, and um, you know, that's that's what we do it for. And, and um, you know, we want and, and Dr. Alexander was great. He came and spoke to our team in the locker room after the game. And so it's um, it's a good day when everybody's happy.